Hey, all right, so uh, I'm Mike Villager. I'm with Dynatrace. Um, so I'm giving a brief little lightning talk here. I've uh, done a couple of these before, so they're always a good time. Uh, and of course, the entire audience is my teammates, so that's always good. <laughs> right, so, all right, so monitoring is, is something that's required to drive your business forward with speed, right? So it's a key, crucial part of your digital transformation, right? But in the industry, we feel that traditional monitoring is a, is a dead end, right? So let's go into a couple of reasons why, why that might be. Right? So your typical organization is really monitoring no more than about 5% of the apps uh, in their environment. This is real, actual information uh, that we've gotten from our analyst partners. And one of the reasons why that you know, they, they haven't rolled out for more than that is because usually the effort is too high to implement the monitoring or uh, the tooling itself doesn't scale. Right. And then as we start to expand those same concepts into, you know, microservices and, and cloud native app development, right, that the same, you know, existing problems are, are happening here as well. I mean, our traditional techniques don't scale, uh, installing agents into every container by, you know, manipulating file systems and so on. It, it's not a very scalable process, right? And, you know, things like just container metrics don't actually represent what's happening to the application. Right, so you know, enter software intelligence for Pivotal Cloud Foundry, right? So where we're going to have full stack visibility into every component uh, of the um, of the cloud platform, right? And then I've got this fancy schnazzy uh, animation here that I I won't let die, uh, even though it's not necessarily brand compliant. Um, so you know, what's actually happening here is is you know we've chosen a different implementation methodology, right? So we're actually utilizing a Bosch add-on to roll out our agents, which actually gives us bottom-up visibility into the environment. Um, and that is uh, implemented via Bosch right now, right? So we actually start by you know, uploading our release. You're gonna give that release a runtime config, and then you're going to execute a deployment, and then the agent is gonna magically appear on all of your Bosch managed VMs. Uh, whether they be Cloud Foundry or uh, Kubernetes uh, via Kubo. So, you know, while this is going on, right, so anybody who's actually done a Bosch deployment understands that Bosch deployments take a little bit of time, usually enough time to maybe have two, if not three, entire pots of coffee. Um, so what can you do while your Bosch deployment is, is rolling out? You can take a look at a couple of blogs. Obviously, Dynatrace blog is there. Um, I actually really like the Stark and Wayne blog. There's some really great articles there. Uh, take a look at some, some new tech news, right? We can also take some time to start creating some dashboards for these hosts as they start to connect to Dynatrace. Um, you know, taking a look at some of the system metrics that are coming out of there, taking a look at some of the great uh, platform metrics that we're delivering around things like the Go router and, and Auctioneer. Um, you know, start keeping track of HTTP requests coming into your Go router. Take a look at failed application placements and, and things like that. But dashboarding is a technique that came out of the 70s, right? Maybe we should start to think about doing something else, right? Let's start to look at uh, automated root cause analysis, right? So let's take a look at uh, a particular problem pattern that I'm actually having in my Cloud Foundry environment, like literally like today. Uh, I actually just updated this deck about 15 minutes ago to <laughs> include this particular problem, right? So we have a response time degradation uh, in an order service. We can see that it's impacted five people in 196 service calls, right? And then we see uh, a root cause that it, uh, these things are not advancing, right? Um, we see that there's a, a root cause associated with a deployment event, right? So it's, it kind of eliminates a lot of the guesswork that, that you might have traditionally. And these are techniques that are available to you because you've basically woven your monitoring fabric uh, into the platform itself, right? So it's something that, that comes along for the ride with everything that is deployed to the platform, right? Let's take a look at, a, at another example here, right? So this is something that happened to us a while back when we were first rolling out one of our first uh, Cloud Foundry clusters. We had a cloud controller problem, CPU was pegged, right? And it was a, tech, it was a technology that we didn't even support with bytecode injection, but we were able to use log analytics to find out that uh, our SQL server for the cloud controller had gone away, which was causing the CPU to be pegged. Uh, another situation that I keep on seeing, uh, surprisingly, uh, it seems like 
network attached storage is still a problem. Uh, storage is not a, a solved problem right now, so slow disk is something that will frequently alarm and, and generate alerts. What's really important here is by having that full stack visibility, you have the ability to prove a negative, right? So we know that this particular problem uh, had no user impact, right? So we know that no users were impacted. So if we're sitting there eating dinner with our families and we get this alert from Donatrace, we can see immediately that, uh, that there was no user impact, right? Which kind of leads me to uh, one of my final slides here. Um, this is kind of like a, a couple of closing thoughts here, right? Environments that are as complex as something like Cloud Foundry, uh, you really need to take a different approach. Uh, it's really great to embrace the tooling that's available to us in these platforms. So Bosch has made delivery of agents into every VM of a large environment like this almost trivial. Um, and then probably the punchiest thing is uh, if a tree falls in the forest and doesn't hit a user, does anyone care, right? My hypothesis is that the answer to that is no. A um, couple of little links here. This doesn't really matter unless somebody's going to take a picture of this. Um, and then we have a f another fancy, uh, pretty marketing slide to close things off. So hopefully everybody likes it and finds it beautiful, as I do. So, all right. Thanks, everybody.